Welcome back into a new video of TaxPress. Today, I'm going to show you how to get started in adding a website from Canva and add it directly into GoDaddy. It's going to be a really easy process. So the very first thing you want to do is to set up a Canva website. So first of all, let's look in into Canva account to start creating a website. So make sure that you have a personal account and a pro account in order to have access to publish the website totally for free and adding the custom link of the GoDaddy. Otherwise, this just won't work. So Canva offers a range of templates to choose from. So pick the one that suits your needs and customize it as you'd like to. If I click here into the section that says website, you can build your online presence and choose an actual website. So you can have a business website, there's a portfolio website, even website, and so much more choose the one that best suits for yourself and this one should be sending you directly into the editor of the actual Canva in this case a website so as you can see this is how it's going to be looking so what I need to do now is just to add elements of my website so let's go directly here into website and if you want to get started with website designs are actually for free you can choose one that don't have the pro element section for example let's select this one and I apply all the pages so as you can see, all my pages has not been applied it. So what I need to do is to customize it, edit it in as I wanted to. So make sure that you have added different links, different images, and much more to make sure that you have gathered all the elements processed. Now, once your design is completed, you want to click into the option that says publish website. So click into the publish website button at the top right corner of the screen. And you might be seeing here that we have a little bit of elements in order to make the publish correctly. So usually we have the website URL created by Canva, which is totally for free, but it should be looking a little bit different than we actually would expect it. In this case, it should be taxpress.mycanva.site. So um, you can resize this into mobile if you wanted to, and then you can include a navigation bar. In this case, we don't have a navigation menu. And here's my subpad. So my subpad, let's say for example, should be uh, just trial or just one. And now I go for publish settings and I go for publish my website. Now that you published the website, what you want to do is to link to GoDaddy directly into Canva, right? So after publishing this website, Canva will present to you these domain options. You can use a free Canva domain as we actually used, but we're going to be using an existing domain and connected this directly with GoDaddy domain. So Canva will provide you with a DNS settings that needs to be updated to your domain register. First of all, just let's wait a few seconds till my website is now live. I'm going to hit into your website and into the upper side that we have to express that my Canva that site is slash forward number one. So our goal here is to go into GoDaddy and use this URL for this website. So for that, I'm going to head now back directly here into Canva into publish website once again i click in it once again and now instead of publishing what i need to do is to go into the published settings i'm going to close this let's go a little bit back here's the website and i go for this pencil now if i select my website url i go for get a new domain so use a custom domain look professional with a professional domain usually what we do is to use the option that says bring your own domain and go for connect your domain from a third party. This one should be sending us directly into the DNS configurations. So we need to provide the DNS configuration here into GoDaddy. Let's go back into uh, the GoDaddy element, which in this case here it is. And here I'm going to go directly into DNS of my domains. So if you go directly here into DNS records, let's go here and look out for my domain settings. If you go into DNS records, what you want to do is to add the DNS that were provided by Canva. So if you select your domain, go for DNS. And lastly, just go directly into your back into Canva coast and make sure that here into the upper side, your URL has not been changed from the my Canva that side to the new one that you have just purchased directly with the GoDaddy. So uh, on the DNS management page, you will see options to add update DNS records and after adding it, uh, the DNS is propagated so we can go back here into Canva, click into verify to check your domain is correctly connected. So um, Canva will display a success message and your website will be live into your custom domains. This might be taking up to 48 hours, so be patient just in case your Canva account does not has been, uh, let's say, updated 
uh, so far. So make sure everything, of course, has now been saved automatically. Just go back in a few minutes or even uh, 48 hours and make sure that your DNS has been set correctly when you add it from GoDaddy directly here in TechPress. So with that being said, guys, if you haven't reached the very end of the video, be patient. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great elements of how you can create, do much more stuff here using the actual camera. Once again, you need Canva Pro to do this process, so make sure that you can click down below in the description to try it out Canva Pro for free. So once again, thank you and see you next time.